welcome back boys and girls how are you doing um i know you're still in online classes how is that going by the way hope it's not too tough you know what you are going back to school very very soon we are praying and remember god is good and he answers our prayers so believe it boys and girls you will soon go back to school to all your friends to see your teachers you know to be able to run around in the yard that's what we are praying for and i believe god and i want you to believe with me that you're going back very soon now today in the solid rock children's church we have a lineup of activities for you to keep you busy at the weekend you know to give you something fun to do so we have the worship we're going to have a memory verse we're going to have the quiz and our lesson I remember we always have the very interesting assignment at the end of the program so boys and girls I need you to sit down I need you to pay attention and participate in everything okay God bless you and I'll see you at the lesson and now let's go into a time of worship today we're gonna to be praising God with a song that says I know who I am do you know who you are Put your right hand on your chest and say, I know who I am. Come on, let's go. Put a dance on it. We are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence all i require for life god has given me i know who i am do you know it come on let's go we are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence all i require for life god has given me and we'll take you one more time we are a chosen generation, chosen generation, called for to show His excellence. All I require for life, for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know. Working in power, I work in miracles, I live a life of favor. Cause I know I'm working in power, I work in miracles, I live a life of favor. Cause I know we'll take it from the top. We are, we are, we are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All I require All for I life, require God has given me. God has given me. I know who I am. One more time, one more time. We are, we are, we, we are, are a chosen generation. We're called for to show His excellence. All I require All for I life, require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. Come on, I say. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know one more time. Who I, I know, I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I know. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. I wanna hear you one more time. I'm walking in power. I walk in miracles, I live a life of favor. I'm a dinner this part. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. 
you gonna see his glory cause i know who i am take a look at me i'm a wonder it doesn't matter what you see now you gonna see his glory cause let me hear you let me hear you take a look at me i'm a wonder it doesn't matter what you see now you gotta see his glory cause i know take a look take a look at me i'm a wonder it doesn't matter what you see now See his glory, cause I know who I am. Hey, we are a chosen generation. We're called for to show his excellence. Say all I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation, chosen generation. Called for to show his excellence. All I require All for life, I God has given me. Yeah, I know who I am. I know, I know who God says I am. Oh, what He says I am. Where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Where He says I'm at. One more time. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What He says I am. Says I'm at, I know who I am. If you know who you are, come and lift it up to Woo! God. Wave your hands as we begin to worship God. I know who I am. And now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Abraham's son Isaac was all grown up. So Abraham told his servant, Go back to the land I came from and find a wife for my son. The servant loaded up camels with all kinds of wonderful presents and rode off. After he got to the land far away, he wasn't sure how to find a wife for Isaac. At a place where girls came to get water, he prayed, Let the right girl give me water. Before the servant had finished praying, a beautiful young woman came to get water. Will you give me some water, please? Yes, I'll get water for your camels, too. It was a big job. Thirsty camels can drink a lot of water. Back and forth she went, pouring water for them all. The servant knew this woman was the one to be Isaac's wife. Her name was Rebecca. The servant took gifts to her family. and asked if Rebecca could marry Isaac. Her father said she could, and Rebecca wanted to get married too. So she went home with the servant to meet Isaac. The camel swayed and bumped along the road all the way to Canaan where Isaac lived. One evening, just before the sun went down, the camel stopped. A young man was walking in the field. He looked up and saw the camels. His bride had come. Isaac loved Rebecca. And so they were married. Welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, how did you find that lesson? Did you enjoy the story? So, if you remember, last week we learned about Isaac. So this is a continuation. So now Isaac, 
as you know, you know, already have children. He has twin boys. And the first one was Esau. The second was Jacob. And this story actually is teaching me that, and I hope that's what it's teaching you. There are a lot of things you can learn from this story. But what stands out for me is that, you know, any little compromise, those little lies, you know, we call it little lies, any lie is a lie, or anything that is making us deny God or deny, you know, our identity, who we are as children of God. You know when you are with, with your friends and they are doing things and you know that you are not supposed to be doing those things. You know, make sure you stand your ground, boys and girls. Because most of the time, what the devil wants to do is not just that little, you know, compromise. It's, it's always something bigger. Remember, Esau, through giving, you know, just getting, he was hungry and then the brother gave him something to eat and he said, you know what, just deny your birthright. Deny that you are the first child. That, that little thing stood against him in, in you know in his dest in, in his future the blessings that he was supposed to receive from Isaac you know when the dad was passing because of that you know that little compromise that time when he gave back uh, when he actually gave his birthright to his brother stood against him it stood against him and guess what who received all the blessings Jacob did. So boys and girls, this is telling us that we have to know who we are. And wherever we find ourselves, we cannot compromise. Because the devil does not use only that little compromise, but he's, he's going to stand, you know, and use it against us in, in, a, you know, in the bigger plan that God has for us. And I pray in Jesus' name, boys and girls, that the Lord will help you, that wherever you are, you will be the light. You will be the light as the Lord, you know, has designed it in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, boys and girls, and I will see you very, very soon. Hello, friends. How are you doing? So, it's quiz time here again. Are you ready? So, brace yourself. Let's get right into it. So, let's go. Number one, who was Isaac's father? Who was Isaac's father? Seth. Lamech, Abel, or Abraham? Seth, Lamech, Abel, or Abraham? And if you answered D, Abraham, then you are correct. Next question. Which of these women was not the wife of Abraham? Which of these women was not the wife of Abraham? A, Rebecca, B, Ruth, C. Sarah D. Jezebel Bonus, there are three answers to this question. There are three answers to this question. And if you said A, B, and D, then you are correct. Rebecca, Ruth, and Jezebel were not Abraham's wives. Abraham's wife was C. Sarah. Next question: Why is why was it important to Abraham that Isaac married the right wife? Why was it important to Abraham that Isaac married the right wife? A. So that Isaac will have children. B. So that Isaac will marry a beautiful woman. Woman. C. Abraham lived in Canaan and did not want Isaac to marry a Canaanite woman because the Canaanites worshipped false gods. D. It was not important for Abraham. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Abraham lived in Canaan and did not want Isaac to marry a Canaanite woman because the Canaanites worshipped false gods. Next question. Abraham is known to be a man of Dash. Abraham is known to be a man of what? A. Fear. B. Faith. C. Trouble. D. Prayer. 
and if you answered B, then you are correct. Abraham is known to be a man of faith. B. Next question. Which of these women was not the wife of Isaac? Which of these women was not the wife of Isaac? A. Rebecca. B. Ruth. C. Sarah. D. Jezebel. Bonus tip. There are three answers to this question. And if you said B, C, and D, then you are correct. Um, Ruth, Sarah, and Jezebel weren't wives of Isaac. Isaac's wife was Rebecca. And now we move on to the home quiz. Yeah, you know how we do it. You send your answers to the email, the church's email. Um... So pay attention, pick a pen and paper if you have to, and write them now. So let's go. First question, which land did Abraham live in with his family? Which land did Abraham live in with his family? A. Canaan. B. Sodom. C. Egypt. D. Jerusalem. Next question, how did Abraham travel to the promised land? How did Abraham travel to the promised land? A. By airplane. B. By foot. C. By lorry. D. By train. Next question. I am am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Who said this in the Bible? A. Peter. B. John. C. Jesus Christ. D. Isaac. Next question, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Where is this in the Bible? Where is this found in the Bible? A. John 3.16 B. John 3.3 C. John 3.1 D. John 3.7 Next question. Which is the shortest verse in the Bible? Which is the shortest verse in the Bible and where can it be found? Which is the shortest verse in the Bible and where can it be found? A. Pray unto me, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. B. Jesus wept, John 11 35. C. In the beginning was the word, John 1 1. D. I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Psalm chapter 118 verse 17. Yeah, and that, those are all the questions for today. If you have the correct answers, put them in an email, send them to the church email, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. <music>
establish my covenant with you. to do something like build an ark like that God, God is all knowing that means he knows everything he went he knows ahead everything and he, he knows, knows tomorrow an ark like I'm so silly you like, like you're, you're so seen out like you're so guess what you know you're just made all of this thing, right